Welcome back to the newscast live at 5. I'm Logan Lepiscopo with the latest in sports. Will gives it to Knott. Knott back down low to Baker. Why not give it to him again? It's on Baker with 24 points. The spring athletics are underway here at Waynesburg and the first team in action was the women's lacrosse team. The team dropped its season opener at John F. Wiley Stadium 13-7 to, to the Eastern Mennonite Royals. Waynesburg University's top goal scorer was freshman Waverly Lorne. The New Jersey native scored four in her first ever collegiate game. The team will travel to Mount Aloysius Saturday with faceoff set for 3.30. Next pitch, take a long shot in the left center field. That'll get down for extra bases. Splits the left and center fielder MacArthur and Bearmore. Here comes Chaka rounding second, heading for three. He slides in head first, safe. Chaka now a home run away from the cycle. Welcome back for our final segment here on Jacket Sports Weekly. Hall now across court to Miller. Miller tries herself another three and it's good. The bank is open here in Waynesburg. We saw the awards that came out this past week. We weren't happy about it. I know you weren't happy about it. Was this a little bit more of a statement game from what you've already put together in such a great season? Yeah, kind of. I was kind of mad about that last week. You know, I had more points, average more points, rebounds, steals, blocks. I mean, I don't know how much more I could do. Four Division Three athletic conferences have officially come together to create a new bowl series for their football programs. One of those conferences includes Waynesburg University's very own President's Athletic Conference. The Heartland Collegiate Athletic Conference, North Coast Athletic Conference, Ohio Athletic Conference, and the President's Athletic Conference will take part in the inaugural Open Doors Bowl Series. Yeah, so um, all four leagues had been working on different potential uh, postseason opportunities, and each of those probably looked a little bit different. Um, and, and honestly, not all of them were connected with each other. Each conference will have the highest ranked team not to make the NCAA tournament in a one-day, two-game series. The set date for this tournament is November 23, 2024 at the Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium in Canton, Ohio. They did a great job with it. I think it'll be a huge thing for our league. It'll be a huge thing for our region because you got the four four big Division three conferences in the area are going to play. You know, their second-place teams are going to play against each other, or at least the ones that don't make the NCAA tournament. This being the same field that the National Football League kicks off every season with its traditional Hall of Fame preseason game. This will add a third postseason opportunity for schools like Waynesburg and the President's Athletic Conference. And the others of us do not have another bowl opportunity. And again, we were looking for, for those and trying to figure out what might be best. Um, and, then, and then this opportunity came along. The top team in the PAC moves to the NCAA playoffs. The runner-up will now be eligible for the Open Doors Bowl Series. And, of course, the long-standing ECAC Bowl. Here at Waynesburg University, the football team has not been part of a bowl game since their 2014 season, in which they finished third in the President's Athletic Conference. That game was a 59-36 loss to Buffalo State at home John F. Wiley Stadium. For WCTV Sports, I'm Logan Lepiscopo. The wrestling team will now prepare for the two-day NCAA Division III Southeast Regional Championships on March 1st at Lycoming College. Both of the Waynesburg University basketball team seasons have come to a close. The women's basketball team had a 50-25 lead at the half, and the Lady Jays ended up with a 91-53 victory over the Teal College Tomcats. That was backed behind grad student Anika Dansby and senior Marley Wolf. Those two combined for seven threes and 37 points. The women's basketball team finishes its 2023-24 campaign with a 6-19 overall record and 5-15 in President's Athletic Conference play. The men's basketball team had one more in them after a win over Teal on senior day. Tuesday, the number four seeded Yellow Jackets hosted the number five seed Grove City College Wolverines. Grove City went into the half with a seven point lead, 30 to 23. The Yellow Jackets got within four, but still there was not enough time to erase the 13 point deficit as the Yellow Jackets lost 65 to 58. Chase Yarborough led the Wolverines with 17 points and nine rebounds. And on Waynesburg's side of the ball, Anton Baker and Jordan McCloyd combined for 44 of the 58 total points. 
The Yellow Jackets proved a lot this season, finishing with a 14-12 overall record and 11-9 PAC record. That was five spots higher than the preseason poll projected them to. For myself, Logan Episcopo, my partners Anthony DeFilippo, Benicio DeFalco, we say so long and roll bees.